what is up everybody we are back today with another video and um in today's video we are rescaping the whole tank as you can see i've taken out everything already there's literally nothing left i put another bag in this bio life forest substrate i didn't check in the bin today hooray so this is the substrate i use um it's literally for amphibians and for like plants to grow it's got a bunch of sphagnum moss wood chips and everything in there that um, you can use for things. Uh. So these are the plants I've got today. I'm just going to wash these two. These are new ones. Um, I thought these looked like Brahmi lads, so I just bought them. Hopefully they're safe. Um, yeah, I got them from a tropical area of the garden, a garden centre. And what I also did, I got another one of the um, fire belly toes. Now this was the last one left. And um, I thought it was just like very sad for her to be the last one. Like you come with the group, and you can just see how lovely and red that is. So yeah, she's the last one from the group. I've just had her there for now. I'm gonna introduce her to everyone. Like she's gonna be the first one in. Um, I've got all the other plants here, and I've got their water bowl there. So let me just plant a couple of these plants. I'll probably just plant that, that, and um, maybe a couple of the plants. Yeah, I've said plants too many times. Um, yeah, see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, everybody, so I believe this is the finished product, and it looks ten or a million times better than what I would have expected. Just look at this. So we've got lovely, huge plant attraction in the back, and that's what I thought would look good. I've got, I just shoved the little vine in there so they'd have a nice hiding spot. By the way, look at how much water this plant has in there. Let me just open the lid. There is so much water in this plant so that literally gives them another place to swim in if you just put water just drips down that plant from that leaf that leaf just eventually just comes out a water bowl which i was super excited about as well um psyched excited no words for this the plant the like enclosure itself looks absolutely amazing just the addition of those two plants just brought everything up i put a little um I put a little uh, log in the back just if they want to hide. There's lots of spaces under there. There's literally spaces everywhere for them to hide now. Because I realised that when they were swimming and stuff, they weren't exactly happy. Because they were, like, scared to swim. Because every time I came through, they just went behind this plant. Or behind the corner over there. Behind the vine. Um, the vine plant um, because they were like scared because there was like no shade for them to like where, where they like swam where in nature there would be like a bunch of aquatic plants like water lettuce or yeah just a bunch of different plants that i don't know so yeah this definitely give the give, will give them more like space to run around okay maybe not more space to run around but they'll be so much happier i've added the little pink shrub as well so i had to put these two together and um i was going to put this like all the other front but i wanted them to have like some um place where they could like run around they could walk around over here plenty of space over here and in the back over there so hopefully this will keep them good for a while now because uh, there's also five in there this guy will have to like be introduced to the other group as well um so they can actually like get along and stuff so i wanted him to have lots of space as well if you know the other group don't, don't like him um so we've got the i just like separated one i thought it might look nice when it grows a bit it's like have another one over there um yeah so this is the enclosure and i'm just gonna release the one we just bought today um it's got much more red belly Oops, can't see that. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to release her now into the water. And so I'll show you that in a couple of seconds. Okay, so um, we've just got the enclosure. Wait, not the enclosure. It's got the little frog over here. Yeah, she's out. There she is. Ooh, okay. I'm just going to close the lid quickly. One second. Okay, so right now she just jumped over here there she is so this is our new addition to the tank in the back right over there now um yeah sorry about my little gold pleco <laughs> um i just bought it at the time of amazon or ebay i think so yeah it's like my camera can't even focus because it's so beautiful Um, if you guys have any suggestions for me on what to do next, 
to have like if I should put a heat lamp in there I definitely do want to get a hygrometer I might get that tomorrow because I'm going to Swindon which is like 50 miles away from me because um there's like a nice place there where you can there's like a really nice place out near Swindon it's like Junction 16 I believe just like it's just full of like really nice animals there's a huge koi pond and there you can see like tortoises I just want to go have a look at that I've I used to go there a couple of years back and yeah, so I thought I'd go there, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll buy a nice, maybe I'll go to a reptile shop there as well and just buy a hygrometer. Uh, so that's it for today, guys. I'm just going to put the other four in now, which I'll show you in literally just a second, and hopefully it goes well. Oh, and by the way, I can't put the other two while I'm doing the camera because otherwise it gets too hard and my head starts hurting because I have to hold the lid with my head, <laughs> so it gets really crazy anyway one second make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you follow us make sure you like the video make sure you watch the whole video because this is going absolutely great okay okay i got them all they're all over here so there's one two three and there's the fourth one over there the, our new one is in the back right over there so i hope they really really like this enclosure already i could only see three of them like the other one just gone behind there somewhere and um i hope these like they like this enclosure and i hope i haven't done a mistake by just like not being able to see the mirror again because well, that wouldn't be a mistake that would be really nice for them but not nice for me um also i'm kind of worried about how they will see the crickets and stuff so i might have to change their food to locusts as well because with crickets they like to hide a lot more than locusts which is a problem as well now since there's so much fol foliage um yeah I don't think they've seen the, their friend yet, but... Oh, look, you can actually see their belly now. Hello. By the way, if you haven't already, drop a, a comment down below in the comment section, because I really want some names for these guys. Like, now there's five of them. Never know, it could just be like a group name or something. <laughs> Whatever you guys want to choose. So I'm just going to miss this enclosure down a bit more so all the dirt and stuff gets off the plants and so that they have lots of humidity because I just added a whole other layer of substrate. So it was like down here, I just added a whole new bag of substrate, made it higher so I need to activate all the sphagnum moss trying to get, get it like come back alive. Um, also when I put this plant in there was a bunch of like centipedes and stuff in there so if these if the centipede ever comes to the top, <laughs> it will not know what just hit it. Um, yeah, this soil does come with, um, I believe it does come with, yeah, there we go. It's literally just bioactive substrate, just comes with living, it's like for living plants and stuff. It does come with um, springtails, so that's good. I, w I do have some from before, who are probably just like, ah, just like trying to come back at, up at the top. And uh, yeah, they'll hopefully be okay. But I think they're just going to meet the other one right now. It's like, let's go to zoo. Oopsie daisy. So yeah. Let's hope this all goes well. Oh, they finally found the leaves. Well that's actually very nice because I thought that they they wouldn't like um like the leaves because it was like too something. But that's a really good sign because now that oops that's a really good sign because now I'll know that the leaves actually have lots of humidity and they'll just like bask on the leaves and stuff. Oh, he's made friends. Okay, so I'll monitor that closely now. Um, I think I will put like a nice big background or something on the back. Maybe like a nice dark background or like an aquatic um, papery thing. But that I can do that any day. Um, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Make sure you follow me, subscribe, everything. Well, no, follow us on Instagram. Wait, anyway. <laughs> um, make sure you subscribe. My Instagram is the bearded dragon carrot with unders uh, underscores between every single word. And mango and kiwi, the C-H-A-M-S, cams, and but, like underscore between each word. Cams is basically just short for comedians. Um, just thought I'd plug that in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've just got to clean everything up now. And yeah, I'm super stoked about this. Hopefully it goes well. See you later.